Hi guys, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Till now we have discussed couple of ETL testing interview questions. Today we are going to discuss another ETL testing important question. Okay, this is almost all interviews, most of the interviews which they are going to ask you. Okay, what is the question? What is what is the difference between rank versus dense rank versus row number? Okay, let's understand the data first. Okay, let's understand the data first. Here you see employee ID, department ID, and salary. This is the input table. Whenever you are going ahead and seeing, right, employee ID 100 to 105, you see sequence number, and department ID, you see 10, 20, 30. Okay. And if you see salary, salary is 100 member, you see 1 lakh 20,000. 101, you see 1 lakh 25,000. Like that, you see consecutively three members as having same salary. And after that, you see 104, you see 1 lakh 30,000, 105, 1 lakh 40,000. Okay, so by understanding this, right, by understanding this, okay, how rank works, how dense rank works, how row number works. If you see here, okay, downside, whenever you apply with this employee ID and salary, okay, whenever you do salary order by DESC, order by ASC, nothing but a smallest to largest you are going to do here, okay, ASC means smallest to largest largest it's nothing but a ascending order you are going here here okay post one lakh twenty thousand what is the rank you see one when it comes to dense rank what is that one and here row number also one one lakh twenty five thousand you see rank is two dense rank also two row number is two if the the question here right the important thing if the values are identical not identical values are different okay values are different these three functions works in a same way these three function works in a same way okay but if you go ahead and see next value you see same salary is having 101 and 102 103 is having same salary 1 lakh 25000 1 lakh 25000 1 lakh 25000 how rank work rank has given same same rank for the three members here you can see 2 2 2 okay dense rank also is given Two, two, two. But row number, remember that it is a sequence number which is going to generate. Okay, irrespective of the whether it is a value set different or it is a identical values, it is going to give you the sequence number. You see here, second value it has given second, third value it has given three, and fourth value you see four. Okay, but what is the difference between rank versus dense rank? Okay, it has given same rank for both. And after that, can you see here 104? In 104, what is happened? Okay, it is going to skip the rank. It is going to skip the rank. Okay, let me give you how it is being skipped. Okay, first row, second row, third row, fourth row. Next, what is the thing? You see fifth row here. Nothing but a fifth rank it has been given here. But when it comes to dense rank, what is happened? Immediately next sequence rank you see here. Okay, the major thing is you see rank is it rank is going to skip the rank okay if the values are same okay but when it comes to dense rank even though values are identical it is going to assign the next sequence number to the next different value okay here you see one two two one two 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 after that immediately five and after that six but when it comes to dance dense rank one two 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 after that you see next sequence number it is not skipping any sequence rank here it is not skipping the rank. It is going to go to the next three. And after that, it is VC4. But row number, it will always go with the, it is always go with the sequence number one, two. It is nothing but a serial number. It is going to generate based on the order of it. Here we are doing the order of salary is nothing but a ascending order. Let's go ahead and execute the practically with the data. See, here I have prepared the this particular thing and this i'm going to provide in the description of the description of the video we have we have created the table here and then after that we see we are inserting the data we are inserting the data here we are inserting the data here we have inserted six rows now let's perform okay let's perform how we are going to perform the first we'll go with the one by one okay first we'll go with the rank okay what are the columns you need what are the columns which we have kept here 
in the in the output in the output what is the employee id and salary employee id and salary okay now let's write it up here employee id okay emp id comma salary okay comma salary then rank okay rank over okay over order by salary order by salary whenever you do order by salary it is going to take as a it is going to take as a ascending order from smallest to largest it is going to take smallest to largest it is going to take okay now you have applied rank okay now you have applied rank okay at the same time we are going to apply even dense rank as well dense rank as well okay here you are going to write the dense rank dense rank here you say sir dense rank okay and after that you are going to apply even row number as well row number as well okay here we'll go with the here we'll go with the next thing is here we are applying the row number row number okay sir row number okay sir row number now if i can go ahead and if i can execute this then we will identify the differences can we see here can we see here what is happening what is happening if you see okay if you see the data which i have given okay the data which i have entered here okay first is 105 is 110 okay this is the smallest value you see that is the first rank you see okay 111 after that what is the next rank next value 120000 okay nothing but here you can see 120000 rank as well it is given same same rank 2 and after after that you see dense rank also it is giving same rank and row number also it is giving and after that after that 103 101 102 having same salaries okay same salaries nothing but 101 102 103 is having same salaries you see that 333 okay here also 333 here you see sequence number irrespective of whether it is a different value or same value it is not going to bother about by row number row number always going to give the based on order okay order by salary we have done it is going to take the 1 2 3 4 5 6 okay but when it comes to rank and dense rank it is going to assign the rank if the say it is going to assign the same rank if the values are same if the values are same here you see salary is same that is the reason it is assigned 333 and here also 33 in dense rank but when it comes to rank it is going to skip the next sequence rank it is going to skip the next sequence rank here you see sixth okay because 1 2 3 4 5 next immediately six it is going to skip the rank in rank but when it comes to dense rank it is not going to skip the next sequence rank okay here you see 3 3 3 after that we see 4 okay this these are the differences guys you can explain with the example to the interview that's it for the day guys and we have started august 1st today we have started new batch if you are willing to join please contact us in this number in this number here you see contact number 9886 827826 thank you guys thanks for your support and liking the videos and commenting it out thank you so much guys